If you aren't going to synchronize with a Steersoft server, then you can set up your data directly on your iPhone. To do this, first go into School Setup. Make sure you set up the year end following the instructions given on this screen. Setting up which days of the week you work should be fairly straightforward, but customizing times of the day might take a little longer. These are called periods. The main thing to say here is keep your period name short, one or two letters only. This keeps displays much neater. You can also set up student groupings. To delete an existing group, swipe left or right. To add a new group, touch the plus key. Or just edit the existing name. Once you've done this basic school setup, you're ready to add a class. Go to All Classes. Then touch the plus key. All classes must be assigned a year group. If this isn't relevant to you, then just enter one. To add students to your class, touch the class, then touch edit, then touch add remove students. You can add single students here. But if you have an electronic list of names, you can enter them here. Tap twice to bring up the option to paste. Adjust if necessary, then touch next. Rows highlighted red will not be imported, normally because it can't distinguish two names. You can go back if you need to make any adjustments. Or touch this blue arrow if your names are around the wrong way. From here, you can also adjust existing student details. To delete a student, swipe left or right or touch edit. Now let's create a session for attendance. Just choose the date and time. We're almost done setting up, but for real efficiency, let's go back and set a timetable. Enter edit mode, then touch the period you want, then touch edit at the bottom. Select the class you want and return. Use the copy and paste buttons to mark the other periods you see this class. Once finished, tap done. The timetable is now live, so touching a class will go to its attendance sheet. To add sessions for the whole term, touch edit, then add multiple sessions, then select term. For the first time we need to add a new term. Give the term a name and include a year so that it's future proof. Then just select the dates and if necessary specify any holiday dates. Select the term here, then touch create sessions. That's it, we now have a tailored attendance sheet for the whole term. Have a look at the other tutorials to find out about the various ways you can mark attendance here. If we go back to the top screen, we now have an option to see today's classes. In this screen, we get an overview of today's classes. For more information, see the other tutorials. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for listening.